Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How you doing today? Your boy is back. You look absolutely wonderful today. I mean, actually, there's no way of me knowing how you look, but I'm just assuming. I'm trying to be nice here. For all I know, you could stink and look like absolute trash. Where am I? Where am I going with this? Oh my God, please don't unsubscribe, please. Okay, so today, basically, I want to talk about a few struggles I have as a programmer. So when it comes to the internet and you see people out there, it's on Instagram, on YouTube, it doesn't matter where, especially when you're starting to learn programming, web development, whatever you want to learn. Uh, everything seems all nice and honky dory out there. And I want to let you know that's not the case. Like pretty much everyone you see out there struggles in one way or another. So I want to make this video to kind of let everyone know that you're not alone. We all struggle. Uh, even this guy. Hello, everybody. My name is Kyle with Web Dev Simplified. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps that you need to take in order to create your very first web server using Node.js. Are you okay there, Kyle? You okay? You sure you're human? Okay, so let's start off with the list. I'm also wearing all black. All black, all black. Not that you care. Thought I'd show you my, my, my blackness. That's not racist. Firstly, I want to say I'm generally a very optimistic, ambitious person, and I try to take all negative things in life or things that don't look that good or feel that good and try to make it into a positive thing. I know a lot of people are not like that. I know a lot of people that are more pessimistic. A lot of people are depressed or struggle with anxiety and other stuff, which I, I do as well to a certain degree, but I, I try to control myself and I try to control my feelings as much as possible. Now, I'm saying this because uh, my journey into programming was totally different. I couldn't make it into a positive thing for some reason. I generally felt bad learning programming. How? Why, Ed? Well, every tutorial I saw out there and every project that I saw people build, I would try to pick it up, right, and do it with them. So I would do that and I would see them make like zero mistakes and just get through them like pam, 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 just everything perfectly, right? So I'm like, okay, wow, this guy's really smart, which is, you know, perfectly fine. I was just learning. The problem with this was is that most tutorials were like this. So when I actually started building my own stuff out there, I would encounter a lot of issues. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, maybe I'm not, not good enough for this. So I feel like the, the Instagram scene and the YouTube scene and everything that's projected there on the internet as a learning mechanism for you paints kind of a perfect picture and it's not really that realistic because including me, including other YouTubers out there and every instructor out there struggles a lot. They just don't show it. So I, I wish, I wish, and I should do this more frequently. I wish a lot of developers would show how much issues they encounter while making tutorials, while building out projects and to actually show them that it's okay. Cause, cause I didn't see that and it gave me a lot I, I just became very unconfident and it gave me a lot of anxiety and I, I just thought to myself that maybe I'm not good enough for this so one of my biggest struggles was actually watching a bunch of tutorials over and over again like for three four months to kind of reinforce myself that I know those things uh, but I wouldn't actually start off any projects because I had the fear the fear of not being able to do it or complete it so I, I always felt like I need to rewatch some stuff and rewatch until I feel very confident in my mind, which was a huge mistake. It was a very, very huge mistake. Eventually, I did start making my own projects. And then I realized that, wow, wow, I've been wasting my time with all of these tutorials. I should have done this from the beginning. Th this is when I actually started becoming a, a better developer. I don't want to say I'm, a, I'm an expert, but <laughs> I did become better. Um, and that's what you should do too. So stop watching all the tutorials, including mine. I'll take that sacrifice. It's okay. As long as you become better, it's fine by me. The thing is though, this kind of acted like a double edged sword for me because now I was comfortable building out projects, but I didn't have patience to watch tutorials anymore. So this was a big downside that I'm still struggling with is when I want to pick up something new, a new technology. It's, it's, I just don't have the freaking patience to go to a 12 hour, 12 hour fucking course on Udemy. And it's like, hi, today we're going to learn about Unity. C sharp is a programming language that is like, shut the fuck up. Like, oh my God, like <laughs> 10x speed. Give me the information or fuck off. The next struggle I have is something that actually a lot of people don't mind and might actually even like. 
but for me it's super difficult and that is sitting here in this room all alone programming making videos and having zero uh, social social interaction with any human that's so so difficult for me i like to think like i like to be very social and talk to people and meet people and make friends and create happy memories and doing this is just it's just not it uh, even if i would work at a programming job well the current situation in the world is everything is remote so you would sit at home all day again i know a lot of people love this and they're like oh i can just be in my own little bubble but for me personally after doing this for a couple of years it's like oh god it's tiring it's just you're stuck with yourself all day so I, I like always try to find excuses to finish my, my work as fast as possible to just go hang out or to go talk to somebody or even just staying outside is just so, so good. So my goal right now is to try to balance this out as much as possible and not focus that much on work. Kind of try to balance everything out to keep my, my energy and my mood in check because if I feel like I'm spending all this time alone and just programming and having nobody to kind of socialize with or hang out with i feel like that's gonna affect my performance anyway just because that's how i am as a person so try to balance all of those things out and then i think that's gonna greatly improve my videos my creativity and everything else it's quite funny because programming is is one of those jobs where you literally need to use all your brain power to make stuff right there's nothing automated just like writing 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 or you know just doing some work or cutting off sandwiches or whatever else there is you need like your brain power and your creativity to come up with stuff so for me this is a huge struggle when i'm i'm dealing with personal issues uh because i feel like that clouds a lot of my thinking and my logic in my head and I just cannot do it. So even if I have the energy and I'm ready to go to program for freaking 20 hours straight, I cannot do it. If I have some personal problem in my life, it just it just kills it for me. It's horrible. So a few months back, um, don't think I mentioned this that publicly, but I went through a breakup and that just totally destroyed me making videos. I just couldn't think because I had other things in mind, right? I was trying to you know get better heal deal with that personal issue and good luck trying to program anything else and it's quite funny because i would do other things and that would be super easy so like physical things i would like fix something on my car or or you know just just doing some physical stuff that would literally take my mind off of it so anything that had nothing to do with the brain was very easy to do and actually helpful to do uh, but when it came down to sitting down and just thinking, oh, that was horrible. So this can come to breakups or maybe a personal issue in your life, or maybe you just don't feel that good. Maybe you feel demotivated, maybe you feel anxious, maybe you're just in a bad mental state. So I think this is one of the most important things that you can do uh, if you're programming or learning to program. Uh, is to find love within yourself and be very good by yourself, uh, work on your anxiety, work on your personal issues in life and try to better yourself. And if you're happy with yourself and you love yourself, I think you're going to have a much, much easier time uh, to think. You're going to have a clear mind. So meditation can also work, but also identifying things that might be potentially wrong with you or things that you're struggling with and try to get help. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video that I made. I am getting ready to go for a trip. You're gonna see some pictures on Instagram, maybe in the future. So drop a follow there and on Twitter, check out my courses on, on the on my website, developedbyed.com. I don't know my website. What kind of business is this? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, check out the courses down there. And I want to know, write down in the comments, what are the biggest struggles that you're experiencing as a programmer? Would love, love to hear it. So yeah, until next time, watch the speed. Ready?